We're live broadcasting outside today from the Spiro Clinic in Faithful, Arkansas. And I know we have a ton of people watching from Australia. We feel your love. Oh, I am going to be so emotional probably trying to get through this. It is a bittersweet day for us. Stella. <laughs> Stella came in with complex regional pain syndrome and also gastroparesis. And you guys can see she still has the tube, but the reason for that is you're eating a lot better and you've gained how many pounds? 18, 18 pounds. What is that in kilograms? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. Uh, but we're going to take our time uh, as you acclimate at home to remove the tube. And how is your pain today? First off, I want to thank the Burning Limb Foundation, your fantastic support system, your most amazing mom. Um, we're going to miss you so, so very much. And do you want to come up here? You certainly deserve the right to be here. I'm too guilty to talk. And uh, I also want to thank Lexi Hamilton Smith, the journalist that gave your story a voice in Australia that was directly responsible for a lot of fundraising that got you here. Lexi, I know that you, um, you caught a lot of heat for putting this story on in Australia from the medical world, the physiotherapy world, and for you guys, if you are watching today, I would like to say that you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and it's never too late to admit that. Um, I wish that chiropractic in Australia was in a better state. I believe now that babies under two years old cannot be adjusted in Australia. Even if we wanted to open a center in Australia today, we couldn't because we wouldn't be allowed to use all the therapies that we use here. And it's not right because there are so many people suffering in Australia that need help too. So get off my soapbox. stage, <laughs> lovely Stella. Um, I don't really know where to start. I'm just incredibly grateful. And all the patients, of course. I'm going to miss everyone. Outdoor voices. Pardon? Outdoor voices. Just make oh, sure. sorry. Um, and yeah, this place is incredible. Um, I wouldn't think twice about coming here. But you I did. I did. But <laughs> I'm so grateful for my parents and my sister and my brother, and my friends and my family for supporting me here. And yeah. Jordan. Jordan is a patient of ours that was directly responsible uh, in supporting Stella because Stella pretty much had to be hog tied and thrown on a plane yeah. <laughs> to come here. She didn't believe there was hope for her yeah. and you made that possible. So I just wanted to tell you thank you for reaching out to her. Um, and that circle is going to continue and many people like Karen will be helping us with it. So thank you so much. Casey and Bryce. chronic pain for a long time and got a lot stripped away from you you start getting your body working for you and everything but the mind isn't there you know there's still all these doubts and, and can'ts that you run into like we ask you to do something and you think well I can't do that and sometimes people shut down and they just don't but that never really happened with Stella there were so many times where she said well I can't do that yes I can do that how do I do that and we'd tell her how to do it and she'd perform the action and we'd increase the stress level in the office and it run into that same obstacle that same can't I can do this I just did it I'm gonna do it the same way and she'd do it the same way and you know next thing you know she's jumping off a 20 inch box landing it even weight on both feet no reaction at all and you know that's what it takes to get well is to break your patterns it's easy to break some of the, the body stuff and, and, and get your range of motion back, but that mental stuff is, is really hard. 
and um, you know your result shot through the roof when you put that in the back of your head didn't have it be an obstacle anymore and just you had a deadline you know you had to go home by a certain time luckily you got that deadline extended and um, you know even in the midst of the current climate and everything we're still able to get it extended again and uh, then really just kick butt and I, I think a lot of that was the that tough mentality that you could see was in you but you suppressed it for so long you, and you just forgot how to use it and once you got to use it again it was just the sky's the limit so to anybody thinking that they can't do something here's proof that when you think you can you're going to get it done it was just just a blast to be a part of it i, I love watching you slogan that while I breathe there's hope because we had nearly lost hope and then we found you and you guys and all the rest of your amazing team so um there's a time here when there were those doubts too though yeah there were times you know? when we were quite despondent because we had to keep trusting in the process that eventually Stella would respond and she did and I remember vividly the day Dr. K said to me, I don't need to lose sleep out over Stella anymore. I knew then that she was on her way and it was the biggest relief. Um, I guess I want to talk on behalf of my husband Tony and Stella's brother Isaac and Sienna at home when I say thank you to all of you amazing people. I'm, I'm filled with both pride and gratitude in equal measures at the moment. So proud of this kid. Uh, it's just mind-blowing what I've watched her go through and it's not easy it's hard really really hard but with the support of everybody here she was able to achieve the goal that she has um, thank you to all our amazing friends and family who rallied around when we needed to get here I can't say thank you enough and even to strangers who helped us the kindness of strangers has certainly come into play with getting getting Stella here so thank you from the bottom of our hearts and one last anecdote, I've got to say this. Dr. K has often joked that her life would be so much easier if she just did normal practice. Instead of, you know, having to deal with these people with the worst pain and condition known to man. But I just want to say on behalf of our family and all the people here and the people who've been here, the people yet to come, that we're really glad that you chose the path less, less traveled. Relax. Look over at your, your mom and she she had to relax. 